Just when I thought that the plot was already done because the founder is quote unquote done, she's not. New mechanics, new lore drops. What's going on? There's like a rift. Was it called a drift? It's some kind of rift. Um, astral power, witches could spawn right now for the non-witch side. We're like, we need to maintain it. We need to make sure, you know, that shit is contained. The other witch's side is three families. We're Lou family, but there's like Zoa and everyone else. It's like a power struggle. Everyone's like, we need to be the first ones to get there. So there's like silencing of information. People are intentionally not letting people know that this rift appeared or not. And the Zoa family is seemingly our next antagonist group. There's a girl named Kissing at the end. Why is her name Kissing? Let's find out in today's reaction. What are you going to do about it? This is where the Vortex is? Vortex. Hmm. まちがいありません。わがましいと思ったら君たちか。仮面鏡。これを。ゾワガイアゲン。ボテックスは。つい。キャップに発見されたばかりだ。今まさに。He このボルテックスの大使。I <laughs> Hey, at least he's being honest. He bro was straight up like, yeah, of course I want to start a civil war. Of course. Okay. The base is like our base. Our non-witch side has astro magic readings, vortex like readings happening. Is it due to Mr. Nameless and someone else? What's going on? I blame Nameless. Hello, Miss Miss. <笑>キチから検出された反応。やっぱり精霊術だって。ありえない。俺らの記憶不明の帝国兵もそいつらにさらわれたんだろうな。この後の対応。ようなものはそっくり大密基地に移すって。私たちはバルテックス探索を継続
ネオ。インビジブルネームレス。オプティカルイルージョンスーツ。帝国に紛れた魔女ごときが。ネームレス。裏切り者の存在に俺が気づかないとでも思ったか。ま、私格部隊の出身だったそうで。でもここで私が
kissing. Thorns. Is, is she here to help? Thorns hurt. Are those thorns? They are thorns. Everybody. What the fuck? The thorns intercepted a missile here and then it just like swallowed it. Interesting thorns. She's so robotic. Founder's blood. Kissing versus Iska. Let's go. Oh, that's why she's a little special. I was like, why is she talking all robotic like that? She's purebred. You know. Too much of the gene pool mixing, you know, over and over with the founder's genes leads to that. <laughs> they really missed each other, man. <laughs> nameless! <laughs> oh shit, oh. nameless versus Aris. <laughs> wow, they know him. Yeah, you ruined my date. Where's my date, bro? And the date, and then the date first and foremost. <laughs> She was really looking forward to meeting Iska again, bro. She too mad. Iska, so, so, Aris should be able to win. Well, let's see how strong Nameless really is. Maybe he's just a gimmick with the invisibility and the ruthless mindset. Aris is busted. She can just freeze everything, right? <laughs> Yo, the CGI is actually kind of lit, though. It's moving fast. This is, I think, good CGI. <laughs> It does not feel like I'm getting a whiplash from the CGI, right? It looks like it's smooth. Uh oh. Is she awakening? So these thorns can destroy objects, but can also recreate those objects. These thorns are crazy. What the fuck? You would... This is your right... I, I guess she's got a magical barrier to protect herself, right? But, like, she just decided to just blow this shit up when everyone's here, too. <laughs> OPI shields. Awesome. <laughs> Yo! Rin clutch there. Rin clutch there. Dude, he grabbed the fucking... This might be one of the coolest moments. Nameless Loki is hype. Like, both sides are cool. I love Rin's moment there too, but like, the way he like countered it and like grabbed the fucking sword here too. So cuz Rin. Damn. What's a cut? What's a cut? Eight seat as in, I don't even know how many disciples are there, but I'm going to assume the number is correlated to their strength of the rankings. So he's the eighth strongest. Is that correct to assume? Huh? <laughs> she went from like doing this to like, all right, let's lock it. Allow me to show you my true power. Yeah, easy. What are you gonna do about this? Yeah, th just pure ice magic. I love how she bowed and did the Ojo Sama little dip too for like manners. He really got away though? Alright. Is he just invisible and he's just like, holy shit, this is cold right now. I wonder. Will she make it just in time for the date? Iska. How does she survive the fucking explosion there? It just looks like the explosion never even like reached her. I was wondering like if she were using the thorn somehow to like eliminate the explosions near her and like contain it all to Iska. I don't fucking know. Ooh. The sword can do that? 
Did the swords cut the explosion? He got a le oh, he's dual wielding. He's dual wielding. Hold up. The black steel, right? Cuts through astral art. But the left sword. What does the left sword do? Resurrects astral arts. The white sword is also the one that, you know, copied and um, used the ice blade magic against Alice in episode one, right? I think so. Counterattack. Slices through astral art. And then the white one, right? One more time. Hold up. Resurrects astral art. So she was able, he was able to copy the thorns there, right? He copied the astral art of the thorns and used that to basically remove the explosions as well, is what I'm understanding. The uncle. Just cut it though. Okay, we're not gonna kill her. <laughs> just the hell. He could have so just fucking stabbed her, just destroyed her. No, he's not about killing though, right? Well, depends. But like, he let the pink girl grow. So he knows like the witch is not all just evil. They're just kind of like manipulated, brainwashed. Easy. Get her ass! Right. She never gets away. Okay, little stab, little stab. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Oh, so he got stabbed there and he twisted just to get out? Okay, okay. He is like faster than Kirito, maybe. Miss Miss! He's not taking Miss Miss, right? <laughs> Into the vortex? What happens when a non witch jumps into the vortex? Because if a witch jumps in, they get powers. Is Miss Miss about to activate some fucking powers, bro? Hold up, this might not be so bad. Like, what's gonna happen here? Taicho! Into the vortex we go! Addis, I'm sorry, missed the date again. Ugh, it's dodging it, bro. Okay, 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 okay. Now what, though? How do we get out? Aris, help us. Use your ice magic. Does that mean Alice is absorbing all the vortex energy? She mad about the fucking date, bro. Right now, we're about to fucking try to survive. She mad about the date. <laughs> The Fortunella that also gave the same fucking copy paste answer to us. Remember the the pairs, right? Oh wow, you don't have to give me the details anymore. You just the lady just showed up. Yeah, you're the you're the pair. What? Fight. I'm game. Alright. Wow. Now what? <laughs> she had to lock it. She was like, oh wait, 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 wait. Honey, lock in. Honey, lock in. A voice, not the founder. I'm not sure, but there's some witch shit going on. The astral is growing. So in this example, I wonder if Iska and Alice are supposed to be getting the powers. Like, personally, I wanted Miss Miss to become like an OP witch. But if there's only two people that can get the power, Alice is obviously getting the powers. Iska is a... He's not a witch, but clearly he's special. So who knows what's going to happen here. The date! Aris gets like rejected. Miss Miss and Aris, sorry, Miss Miss and Iska fell below more. An astral spirit just cucked her, bro. She just got cucked. She just got the date 
just got prevented because of the astral spirit, bro. Ah, it is what it is. What are you going to do about it? Don't worry, Ren. Miss Miss and Iska. Okay, they're fine. Iska, the injury in the back. Alice, maybe? Only time will tell to see who got those powers. Oh, shard. Ice shard, I think, from Alice. And that's today's episode of Last Crusade. And what actually happened here? I'm not sure. So, like, the whole episode was dealing with the vortex, right? So, the mommy girl was evil. I should have, I should have, I should have sussed it out. I, something felt odd, but I was too down bad for her. So, I was like, uh, shit. She betrayed Miss Miss. Poor Miss Miss. Miss Miss also got, like, dragged into the vortex, though. And what does that really mean? Well, the guy said only two people's gonna get the powers. And I'm just assuming only witches get powers. But because Iska is, like, you know, he's the main character, maybe he got something there. Maybe only Alice got the powers. Maybe Alice got nothing. Maybe it's just Iska and Miss Miss somehow. Who knows? Only time will tell. The date got ruined again, but, you know, Alice is determined to make sure that the date will happen. Nameless? Pretty cool. He stands on business. Obviously, he has a job to do. He's a bit extreme at doing it, but he's just doing his job, so I can't really hate on him for doing that. But he is completely a government dog for sure. Like, 100% doesn't think for himself. Just government dog, bro. Kissing? Seems like a coup de lolly that we need to correct, man. I don't think she's necessarily evil either. It's just the masked OG son, right? The uncle that's, you know, propaganda is kissing to act this way. So maybe there's a moment for Iska to save kissing and she can join us. Who really knows? I'm still waiting for that pink hair girl that Iska saved. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.